Oh my god, this episode was so freaking amazing. Like, I swear to god, there's only ever been one other episode of anime that had me, like, sitting on the edge of my seat like this one did, and that was that episode of Attack on Titan with the decision. Everybody who's seen Attack on Titan knows what I'm talking about, I think. But, like, I haven't felt this way from anything in a long time. Like, the episode opened up with one of the, one of the herbivores from uh, Drama Club just interacting with one of the carnivores i don't know what they were doing but they were just like practicing or rehearsing or something and the carnivore lost track of his own strength and ripped the herbivore's arm right off and it was horrifying <laughs> like it came out of nowhere i gasped <laughs> i think i screamed a little bit it was shocking and it was traumatizing because like the thing that i love about b stars is that even though it's all like CGI and even though they're all animals like they feel so much more real to me as characters than almost anything else like I could like feel that character's pain and it's not even a character that I really paid any attention to this entire show like this was not an important character that it happened to but it still just felt shocking so anyways um the herbivore was okay with only Lugosi taking him to the nurse's office none of the other carnivores so Lugosi took him and the bear came along, which Ku and I had hypothesized last week was the one who ate Tem. And Lugosi, like the badass that he is, right outside in the nurse's office, just confronts him right there. And he's like, yeah, you're the one that ate Tem, aren't you? And they have this super intense moment. And then um, the new character, the 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 alpaca came in. What's it? Do you know his name, Ku? Nope. No idea. <laughs> The one that's voiced by Kaji Yuki. He's such a little ham. I love him. He walks in, just acts cool as a cucumber, knows everything that they're talking about. And he's just like, by the way, I know. Let's go chat and resolve this in a nice manner. Mm. They go and chat and he says he won't tell. And he to just enjoy his sleepless nights. And it's kind of left like on a back burner at that point. Mm. Um, like what's going to happen with the bear. And then you go into flashbacks about how uh, the whole devouring happened between the bear and uh, Tem. Yeah. And I don't even know what to think about it. Like, basically, they were becoming they were becoming really good friends. You find out that the bear. Um, I was a little bit confused about this. It sounds like all bears of a certain size, like once they're really big, have to take uh, uh, like muscle suppressants that like atrophy or muscles. So he'd been taking those. It made him basically feel like not like himself. He yeah. became friends with Tem, um, and then he started feeling like Tem recognized him for who he was. Uh, he stopped taking the medication. And things went badly very quickly. I think the same day they went bad very quickly and he ate Tem. And I'm not 100% sure where he was mentally when that happened because like he just told Tem that he'd gone off the medicine and Tem ran away. But then like there was that scene where Tem was talking to him about how like they'll be best friends. And I wasn't sure if that was in the bear's head, like him just making that up in his head or if that actually happened that way. No, I feel like that was in his head. Basically, it was in his head, right? Like he was a mad. That's what he wanted to hear. Right when he yeah. when he confronted Tim, I don't think, and Tim was like, you know, like we're I'm scared, you know, like we can't be friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he started slowly saying, you know, I'm gonna accept you as you are because we're best friends. I think that point was when he started eating Tim, and that's like was all a hallucination. Yeah, he, yeah, because he hallucinated Tim hugging him, and then when he came back to, he'd eaten him. I don't think he even remembers what happened. He just remembers no. like coming back to his senses, and there was like blood mm -hmm. all over his face and whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. oh man, but Bear's got it rough <laughs> in this in this uh, universe. Like holy shit, I I can't even because he looks so so cuddly and and mm -hmm. innocent, you know, like he wouldn't harm a fly. And then mm -hmm. when he trans when he transform or releases his like his his beast powers or whatever. He is massively huge. His face is mm. completely different. Like instead of getting like the dotted eyes, to, like you can actually get like his his cornea. You can see all his details, and whatnot. Like his his facial expression just changes completely. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of insane, like how they're allowed to kind of be in the same school as others. Yeah. Even with like strength suppressants, I, I find it to be really odd that they're letting him stay like at the school as well. Well, I mean, like they they even they even brought that up in the episode a little bit that it sounds like all of the other schools are starting to eat, have like completely separated um, herbivores and carnivores. Like they wanted to shut down the drama club and stuff too, so that did get brought up. And other students were talking about how like really Cherryton or Cherry Hill or whatever the name of the school is is actually a little bit behind the other schools in doing that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's huge. He definitely looked super intimidating. Oh, man. Like, I seriously thought that him and uh, Lugosi was going to duke it out. And I was like, oh, man, mm-hmm. Lugosi is so fucked. <laughs> I know, right? I've never thought Lugosi looked so tiny and vulnerable before. <laughs> like, like the bear wasn't even in his full form yet. And he was mm-hmm. about to, like, uh, crush the, the ceiling because he was just mm-hmm. so tall and so huge. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the alpaca just, like, I may, <laughs> I may hate the character, but he is so, like, nonchalant, just walks long mm-hmm. and... Like he he calms the situation down. He gets the guy like under control in a sense, you know, like making him have chills or nightmares. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna tell you, am I not? Like, I hope you lose sleep over it. And you know, indeed he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that might just be due to the drugs, right? And yeah, like this guy is really he's really smooth. And I really think if Lugosi wasn't there, he would probably be the next candidate for B Star just because of how good he was, right? If, and, if Lugosi wasn't there, you think Lugosi is a candidate for B Star? Right, because I think Lugosi would be the ideal uh, candidate for B-Star, right? Because you want to have immersion between carnivores and herbivores. And, you know, Lugosi has that. And he's about to, he basically solved the mystery. So he is technically the next B-Star, right? Um, But it depends on how the alpaca plays it. Because if he comes out and says, hey, I discovered who the murderer was. um, And then he's going to be the next B-Star, right? So I'm sure he's not as innocent or like a good guy as he's, playing it out to be i'm sure he has some kind of hidden agenda behind this yeah i think he's i don't think he's i don't think he's bad uh i think he's good but i definitely think he has his own agenda um Mm. i think i I can't picture lugosi being the b-star i'm still confused by like what the definition of b-star is like when the show first opened i was like oh it's like your number one drama person of the school you know what i mean like the Mm -hmm entertainer somebody who does all the plays and stuff like that but clearly obviously it's more than that so I mean, I guess taking that into consideration, I could kind of see Lugosi doing it, but I feel, I do feel like if um, if Kajuyuki's character, turn, the alpaca, turns out to be like a good person, I still think it would be him. I don't even think Lugosi wants that role. Well, I don't know. Maybe he does. Ignore that entire rant. I really don't know. <laughs> um, I don't think he wants the fame, he, but what he wants, his ideals, fits that of what a B-star is, right? Yeah, um, it does. You're right. I, I believe a B-star is just the ideal candidate to bridge the the gap between herbivores and carnivores so Mm -hmm. uh that's i think that's what it is and like i said i think he would be the best candidate to fit that role but again i don't think he's in it for the fame he just wants to be oharu and protect all of his herbivore friends Mm -hmm. uh so i don't think he'll even go for it if if he was chosen uh yeah uh that that was pretty much the whole episode it was pretty crazy and i just thought it was funny too how the the thing that was going to help out with uh, like the side effects of the drugs was honey. Like this dude has a stack, like a refrigerator just stacked with honey. And it just reminded me of like Pooh Bear. Yeah, right? I know. Right? <laughs> and I was like, man, maybe this is why Winnie the Pooh always wanted honey, right? Because if Winnie the Pooh don't get his honey, he's about to go berserk and kill Christopher <laughs> Robbins, you know? Like that's, that's the thing that was going through my head, right? Like what if Pooh Bear was like a, was a killer? But with all the honey that he gets, like it keeps him calm and cuddly and like kind of just nonchalant. Right? I'm just picturing Winnie the Pooh killing like one of his friends and having blood all over his mouth, just like Riz, and that like when it showed him eating Tem, like that was so graphic and horrible. Right. <laughs> Can you, know? you imagine that with Pooh? What uh, was Tem? What 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 creature was he? Or what not creature? But what's like that? Well. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Oh, RIP yeah. sheep. Yeah, they uh they got it rough here. Very rough. <laughs> yeah. It was a great episode. Wow. I was just freaking out the whole time. I just watched it, so I'm just coming in hot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, I the next couple episodes are gonna be pretty crazy. Uh not sure how it's gonna turn out, but uh yeah, it looks like it's gonna come to a close though, with the devouring happening or not. So Agreed. All right. Uh, yeah. That's it for B Stars. 